Five, four, three, two, one. Hey guys and welcome back to Jurassic Unicast. So today I'm gonna to be carrying on building Hammond's Dream from Jurassic Park. So Hello. James yeah, I was about to say James should be joining and here he is. I am here, but I haven't got a share screen. No you have not. So we'll but, get that. Uh, yeah, I'm good. How are you? Good, 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 busy been busy today so just about made the stream in time yeah it was a bit tight wasn't it yeah but we can get this going right share your um, screen good news is hopefully i think we should be able to th finish this uh thing today uh we'll see i'm not hopeful you're not no nah. We're gonna. Uh, I'll probably be having a, a stream for about an hour today, so we'll be finishing about half nine. So we'll see what we get done. All right. So, did we figure out what other dinosaurs going to go into this one? Um. Well, that was the raptors. Yeah, that was the raptors. No, Dilos. That's that's dialogue, dialogue. Isn't it? Oh yeah, that's that's the raptors. I'm just trying to find the galleys. They're in there somewhere eating. Or is that? Or are you still? Yeah, there we know. go. Deliver them in. There we go. Just trying to clear out some of the galleys from the egg incubation. Because that's. Oh, and compies as well in every enclosure. So we decided what's going to go into this enclosure here. Um, we'll have a small, sort of, smallish animals we've got. So 
have a look. Isn't this isn't this row for like smaller dinosaurs in general? Yeah. Park? We are now approaching the hips of Lophodontids. Move that over there. So we've got the Dilos. We've got the Galleys. We have got the Raptors. We've got the Compies. Oh, Metricamphosaurus. Metricamphosaurus. Okay. Hey, yeah. Taylor, welcome. Have you finished that fan fiction yet? Good to have you back on the stream, mate. Actually, that's a pretty decent looking enclosure. <laughs> They're getting a little bit more even now. So, we're going to do Metricamphosaurus. Where's my. There it is. Right, release in progress. So, Metrocamphosaurus. There we go. Right, it's going to have to be random because there's no specific pattern for Metrios. And I think a good mixture, if we get a batch size of five, you'll get hopefully a good mixture. Let's have a look. So, we've got like a purpley. Dark blue, a beige, another beige, and a white. Okay, we get all those. Uh, Taylor says, nope, still a work in progress. Yeah, no worries, just obviously drop us a notification and link once you've completed it. <sighs> These take absolutely forever to release. Mm. I hate that it's just one at a time. Right, so with this one... I'm gonna do like a dirt enclosure. Like it's gonna be really sort of rugged. So a lot of rocks everywhere. Yeah. Like a sort of barren wasteland almost. Bit of sand. And yeah. Make it like a. I don't know what's sort of era do they live in? Metrocamphosaurus. Where did Metrocamphosaurus come from? Like what country? Like what they discovered in? Um... By the way, I will be tidying up all this out a bit. So I will be yeah. turning all that to grass, so don't worry if anyone was thinking... Why have you gone over? I'm not worried. I will be doing that. Northern after. Europe. Northern Europe. So you're talking... The end of the Jurassic period. Jurassic and Northern Europe. So we're talking, what, like Scandinavia, Northern Europe? So... Quite a cold climate. But then obviously it wouldn't have been as cold back then. All right, there we go. So, savannah and forest. Savannah and forest, right, okay. So, we then do... Like that. And then sort of break up some of the sand. A bit too planted. Europe. We could add some like little um desert -y... foliage. Yeah. They've got sort of Cat like uh, these toy type stuff. These like cyad groves. Oh, you might be able to find. Actually, there might be placeables. 
I'm sure there is placeables for some cacti looking things. Let's have a look. Uh, there we go. All of these. I think you got them little ones and all, ain't you? Yeah. Group of the couple together. Have little crappy round ones. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's that spiky one? On that. Left. Middle middle left. That's it that oh that's cool. Like that. That yeah, looks good round the base of them. It's like the agave plants. It's actually what they use to make tequila. How's oh, it? I yeah. thought it was uh, like aloe vera -y type thing. No, they these are uh, like the desert. Oh well, it could be aloe vera. They look a lot like the blue agave plant. Right. What I do want to do is get my terrain back. I'm also working on my Minecraft park on Curse Forge, the UK, I think. Nice. Look forward to it. Alright, let's get rid of you in some forest and savanna yeah might have to be might have to just be it might have to be the actual yeah right, it looks pretty barren and bare over here Choose normal, um, the normal forest then, maybe. That. And then we got to get some desert rocks in here. And then final bit just to polish it all off where are they no actually I won't wait I was gonna add some like sort of building part into it but it's just gonna We'll have a look at it and just have a barren wasteland. With a tiny, very, very, very small. Taylor says, I'm looking forward to when I have everyone on my Minecraft park having a tour and seeing everyone's faces in their live streams. And the dino you was talking about, I think it was from the UK. Oh, well, it says Northern Europe, so maybe. Yeah, it could I I don't think that, I don't think the Patrick much metric is from the UK. I think our big main one's the Baryonyx, isn't it? Baryonyx from the southern. It, it might be yeah. just as northern Europe. Let's have a look. So we've got a whole encyclopedia of bloody things here. Metrocamphosaurus. Late Jurassic. Um Discovery by German paleontologist Frederick von Hohn, although the first fossils found parts of backbone and legs when he found Megasaurus. Um, when English paleontologists declared the bones that were part of the new genus. 
Okay, so it doesn't really say where. Yes. But both a German and an English person discovered them. Mm. But there we go. Interesting, though. No? Yeah. All right. Okay, are we ready to get the Metria Campsaurus in? speed up so we've got our first inner enclosure and it's reached one and a half stars which yeah. is not not too bad but obviously could be better at this moment in time we've got more stars than what john hammond did have in jurassic park oh, in 1993 <clears throat> yeah Let's have a look at these. Right, Taylor, as your that one looks like a rubber. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think. Oh, yeah. No, we're back. We got disconnected there, but we are back. Hopefully we're back. So yeah, if you didn't hear us, Taylor, you get to name the alpha for the Metrocampasaurus. Hmm. So we'll come back whilst waiting for you. Yep, definitely. Let's have a look at pan out. So we've got four enclosures. Lovely, that's sorted. Let's start expanding the world and going out to the next circle. Two, three, four. I think four might be enough. I think five would be a bit too big. Yeah. All right, what I'm going to do is we'll see how this goes. Not faithful. That it's going to work. No, it's already going wrong. I think you might have to go straight first before you curve. One, two, three, four. Malcolm, he wants to be called. Okay. Oh, that is <laughs> awful. Awful. Right, I'll tell you what, I've got an idea. I know. Why don't you do... Um, why don't you do it straight for the first part coming off of it? So... Malcolm. There we go, we've got Malcolm in. So, you go out just a bit straight, that's it. One, two, three, and then start curving, curving it slightly. And do the same for that one. Might work, it was just a guess. One, two, three. And then you start the curve towards each other. Well, it's not a bad attempt. Nah. It would do. It kind of, was, it was the best we did, wasn't it? Free yeah. out and then bend. One, two, 
button. Mm -hmm. Two, three. I think yeah, that's going to be pretty much the best you're probably going to... Oh, it's so annoying with an analog, isn't it? Yeah. All right, one, two, three, four. Definitely annoying with an analog. One, two, three. Yeah, keep that pathway, that's good. Like that. Oh. <laughs> Knew it would do that. Ultra. Thank you very much. It is the best road on um, Jurassic World Evolution ever. I hope you were being sarcastic. Right. I am talk, uh, talking to two break from the park to watch my nephew. Nice. Right. One, two, three. So what? It's working. It's working enough. It's getting there, yeah. Because you think about it, it's got. It's going to have like a big herd of, like brachiosaurs in. Yeah. One, two, three. Maybe don't do a full a full bend. So you know what? You know when it latches, just yeah. do it in between the latch. Yeah, that's what I try and do for the start, and then it does like a gradual bend like that. Oh. Oh god. I think it's that straight bit there that you that I don't like. That's it. I'd start the bend there. That's it. Really need a sort of in between bit there, but that's good. Right. Uh, I think it's not too bad. Last one. I am taking a two break from the park to watch my nephew. Ah, oh, sweet. One, two, three. You should, get, you should get your nephew to watch this. Yeah. Put it on the big TV for him. Oh, come on. I need somewhere halfway between that. There we go. There we go. Nope. <laughs> All right, we'll get it. That's well gone. Oh no, well done, nah. actually. You've done well there. All right, okay. So let's get loads of let's make loads of like triceratops, ninety three ones, loads of brachies. Hoping just to hide a lot of the crap. That's all right. Going. I think you can have like, so we call you could do like big banners, the big banner gun all the way down the pathway over the, like a almost like an archway. Yeah. Invisible fence. Brian, welcome. Brian. 
King Baryonyx. King. We like Baryonyx. We do. Brian, welcome to the show. Um, when we release our Brachiosaurus, you can be the one to name the Alpha. So think of a nice name for it, and we will name it for you in your honour. Jacob, you can name the next one. Whatever if you that are will be. Oh, yeah. Whatever that will be. Probably a Triceratops. Yes. If you haven't, don't forget to put a little thumbs up on the video. That would be very helpful. Helps the channel out. Um, I don't know to what extent, but those thumbs up definitely do uh, must help with the algorithm somewhere. Because if one says, well, it lets, so... us know that you, lets us know that you're actually enjoying our videos. Yeah, because we don't get notified for um, thumbs downs. And leave a comment. No one leaves comments on these videos. No. They might have a little mention in the live stream, but they don't ever leave a comment on them on the actual videos. Alright, so Brachiosaurus enclosure, we are gonna have a lot of hills. A nice big lake. Jesus, you might have to smooth that out. <laughs> oh yeah, no, you watch. It, it was going to be like half this size once everything's done. Okay, this is two week break and then to Toronto did quite the damage to the power and Wi-Fi and oh, what's that? The F2 to Toronto. Uh, yeah, the uh, hurricane or oh, and the, the Wi-Fi and I'm at my grandmother's until Sunday, and my nephew is coming with me back until Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. Oh, connection's gone again. And we should be back. It's not showing like it's disconnected on the stream. Nah, we'll be back. It's just having a mare tonight. I've not set up everything that I needed to normally. Just had no time. Right. Right. Let's move. So we need to get that pathway flat. I hate that. Yeah. Pathway. It's all right. Chill when it's done. There you go. I'm chilled now. <laughs> Me, I was twitching there a little bit. Cool, looks good. Right, now what would be nice? Like a little hall inside the middle bit. Now, do you reckon we could get a... Use this uh, river going down, won't you? I thought you was going to do that. You could do that with... And you could, like, make it go real like a narrow... Let's see if we can... We got half of Texas cleared up from down trees to fix power lines fixed. Mr. Beast needs to see you. Wish Mr. Beast did see us, might get some more money. I don't think you even like Jurassic to see. I don't know. No idea. But yeah, you're right. Why don't you um tag him in it? Share it to him. See what right. happens. Okay, so that's the sort of river done. Do some of them um, 
long trees that they like eating. They have tall fiber. Like tall... tall leaf. Okay, that's an inclination of how tall the actual Brachiosaurus is, because it's only going to eat those, isn't it? So this enclosure is massive. <laughs> like the scale doesn't really reflect it. You'll see when it goes in. When it goes in, you'll see how big it is. It's huge. Oh yeah, we're going to be putting stuff like um, not only Brachiosaurs in here, but Parasaurolophus. Yep. Brachies and Paras in that one. Yep. So we I really want to use the Camp Cretaceous ones, but I think it's yeah. cheating on the 1993 yeah. one, isn't it? Yeah, I'm afraid it is. Right. No, instead of doing like rocks, let's get some like proper decorations going. What can we use? What can we use? Uh, doesn't quite work, does it? Nah. They've all got, they've all got like bases to them. They don't connect to anything in here. Okay, let's just do rocks then. Uh, temperate. I'll just, why don't you just like button tap? Like XXXX and just go, just go along like all different places. It's like a little beep. <laughs> Precision placement is key to designing any park. Nice. Ain't actually too sad. No. And. Maybe. Extinction, rise and fall. Update coming soon. Let's go. Fumbling of the mic. Heck. Right, there you go. The, yeah. My Ethernet cable was not plugged in properly. It was half in and out, so it was fluctuating between like Wi-Fi and yeah, it was, yeah I was just doing my nighting right well there you go anyway well get this finished Brachiosaurus needs to be named yes I'll be back right okay so I think that might finish this enclosure like that so let's get some Brachiosaurus in And has to be 93. Has to be 93. Right, they're ready, and we've got two. Alright, so we'll get another load of Brachiosaurus in. Did I only hatch one? Oh, I accidentally only hatched one. Whoops. Uh, oh, I need these released, really. Right, release fire air lift, come on. Quite close to the enclosure, so it should be a nice easy out. And... Parasaurol office. The ninety seven. They have, oh no, they haven't got any ninety three ones, have they? You have to be ninety seven. We've got six paras. Cheers, Ultra. 
Yeah. It takes a little bit of planning, but once it all comes together, it looks pretty good. So while they're getting put into their enclosure, we can do a little tour. So we have the arrival point where our guests can come. They're greeted with the lovely Jurassic Park gates. We've got the hotel complex here with a nice little beach resort, if you will, like a lagoon pool. And a nice little water feature here, like they've got outside the front of the Jurassic Park Visit Centre. Then we've got our sort of entertainment complex. We've got like the arcades, the aquarium, we've got shopping, we've got water, and we've got restaurant. We've got sushi going at the moment, but those will be added and we'll be adding more, including that we've got this sort of nice little display as well. And then obviously we've got the new enclosures, which includes, I think, oh yeah, this was the Metro Camposaurus that released today. Then we've obviously got the Raptor Paddock. Let's see how they're doing. 1993 Velociraptors running around enclosure, lovely. Uh, Gallimimus, we've still got to release more Gallimimus into this enclosure. I need hundreds in there. And last one was the Dilos with Compies. So let's see, are they ready to go? Yes. All right. So we need to now make some more of everything, really. Beautiful place. Thank you, Ultra. Ah, oh, look, my favourite herbivore. Yeah, they haven't got the 1993 skin. What? No, it's 97. Okay, do, gre do green and red. No, I've done 97. Oh, full. I know, but 97 does look good. I know, but it's not as good. Green, green and red is the uh, one. Yeah. Do some more. Has a distinctive cranial crest, which is used for added residence in its vocalizations and to regulate its body temperature. See, they do look good. Asset transportation underway. <sighs> Just wish that they'd get out quicker. I oh, know. Um, so, we need Stegosaurus as well and Triceratops. Yeah. Um, so we'll probably get one more enclosure done on this stream and then we'll carry on the next stream probably next week. Hopefully. I mean, maybe yeah. the week after. We'll see. We might we'll be see doing a. We might be doing a. Um, commentary of Jurassic Park for the 30th anniversary next week. Oh, I forgot about the Obi Raptor. It really stands out as being different, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, see how these look. Got to wait ages now for them to be released. I wish that you could just like airlift and they just all go out at once. I know, like a big like crate, and they just like come out of the crate. Yeah. Transportation complete. Yeah. Right. Let's start the uh, the next enclosure while they're cooking. Yeah. Just give us a second. Depends on what kind of dinosaur we cooked up in that lab. Gosh, right. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so let's go over here for Stegos who want quite a beefy fence for this one. Oh no, sick try shut it up. Large electrified fence. I think this one will be look quite good. Like, um, Asset has been delivered. like rocky, like a rocky cliff edge almost, or some I don't know, rocky with 
Oh no, let's try and make it like the Jurassic Park 3 enclosure. With grass, grassy plains and and grazing and stuff. Oh yeah. And we could add in as a nice touch, like the giant piece of poop. All right, so you want it as like really grassy plains, yeah? So you designed this one, because I've designed a few of the others. So you direct and guide me. Or sit there quietly. Right, maybe not then. How are these still being released? Heading to pick up the asset. Asset has been delivered. Okay, um, Ultra. Ultra. I believe you get to name. Uh, what did you get to name? The Brachiosaurus. At least look. Yeah, that's not too bad, I suppose. Not too sad. Right. So. I think yeah, I probably will put some hills in this, but not as intense as the other one was. And then the important thing is just go over everything to smooth it out. Asset transported. Transporting asset. Transportation complete. There we go. Right, so we've got some sort of texture to this enclosure. So let's do a nice load of forest coming out there. Like that. Nice. Like a little clearing there. Yeah, a little viewing gallery. In there. So we've got the basis of like the trees set up. Uh, I've made this sort of enclosure. Um, quite hilly and bumpy and like with dips and everything so it's not like a completely flat enclosure yeah but it's not as mad as like the other ones so there like you can see it's got a nice sort of terrain to it okay cool yeah maybe put some like that um um what's it called like the shrubbery stuff that you get in the as for the food well, they graze. What do they graze on? I think it's. I think uh, it's like they dry uh, the the leafy stuff. Try, 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 try. It is ground fiber. Yeah. So let's get some of these done. Right, three. Lovely. 
get you released as well. That's right. So they're getting ready to go, so let's just finish off this area. So we need some water. Looks much better with the trees, Ultra said. There we go. I must admit, this uh like that uh, first forest is probably my favourite. I use it just on everything. You gotta think of the uh the Jeep tour when you're doing this as well. Yeah. Yeah, let's go tour, this way. Yeah, it's going to go through everything. It may struggle with this one. Uh, yeah, it won't go through that one. You might have to adapt that then. Yeah. Give it a little bit of a... Yeah, go, go along the river there. Now that I've done that. Look how little they look in that <laughs> enclosure. Like, like they're like brachiosaurs. It's mad. I like say, it? they're the Jurassic Park three, the Jurassic yeah. Park ones. Come on, hurry up! Right, let's get some of these compies out as well. Need some in Metrocamposaurus. Right, they'll be getting out quick. Alright, anything else that we need in here? Because it still doesn't look finished. Oh, big lumps of poo everywhere. Right, okay. I, in fact, put big lumps of poo everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> or in, in, like, all the enclosures. Maybe not, like, no. straight directly, straight poo. <laughs> It's a real crap enclosure. But yeah. Cut the rocks. Yep. Yeah. Go with Mediterranean. Ground fiber. Transportation complete. Asset delivery confirmed. Cool. Nice. I've given a lot of food to eat. I think that would be a good enclosure. I like it. And then what we can do. Not the zip line. Delivery has been completed. Have a dome viewing platform in the middle. Cool. Right by the third. Yeah. Yeah. Which um off stream once um I get a bit of time, I'll put in all the tunnels required for this, so don't worry. Right, where's our there we go. Right, so there goes ninety seven, there we go. Start getting these out and into the enclosure. Acknowledging asset collection request. Asset 
forget how big these are, don't you? These enclosures. Yeah. I know. I will be adding a lot more dinosaurs into each one of these. They just take so long to get them in. Oh, when we make the T Rex enclosure. Yeah. Why don't we? Um, why don't you mimic the T Rex enclosure in the actual? The best you can. So, like one of those segments is going to be the T Rex enclosure, isn't it? So, yeah. That maybe that one there. You could do like the main road being parallel to that. You could almost like do like a dirt road there with the little toilet hut, but have it almost like extra fenced off so people can yeah. actually. Yeah, I've got a. Uh... Yeah, I've got a slight idea, uh, like elaborating on that. So, okay. what I'll do is, if I just quickly draw up a rough fence, bear in mind this is not going to be how it will. Um, so, it's like that, blah, 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 but then I'll have it going in at some point like this. Like that. And this is the outer enclosure. Right. Blah, 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 blah. This will all get deleted after. So then they can have like the log viewing platform in here. So you can actually go in the enclosure. So it makes it look like you're in there. And then have like the road coming up like this. You gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Right. So yeah. the T-Rex can still come this way, and it can come either way. Okay. Um, It'll all come together once I do it properly. Right, okay. Oh, no, don't bulk. Delete the path. Confirming asset delivery. Uh, fence is on, so pass off. There we go. Our battle will be legendary. Right, let's go get these. No, let's take us. What? what are you putting? Did you just put Stegosaurus in there? Yeah. With the trike enclosure. Tri enclosure. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, the trikes and the stegs are together. Okay. Because it's a massive enclosure. Alright. God, they're taking the time to get in. Right, let's have a look at Triceratops. Oh, look at him. I know. Even I knew of the Stegosaurus. Those plates running along its length from the head. They're all coming out together, look. Yeah, who are you? Oh, oh. <laughs> right. Oh. 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 And there we go, guys. So we have our enclosures. And we enclosure we built today. One, two, three. Yeah. That's not bad for an hour's stream. I think the park the park is looking pretty sick, actually, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. See, I, mean, I told you this layout look this layout would look cool. Yeah. So there we go. It's all coming together. And like I said, um, once I get time I'll put some fine details in. Yeah, I think uh, what we could do is that whole entire area um, in the middle could be surrounded by curved walls going all the way around, so you can't necessarily see the outer part of the park Yeah. until you go through the gates. Yeah. Yeah, we can figure something out. Maybe bring them gates into the next part of the path. If you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Let's see what we get away with with trees here. Yeah, I don't Nothing. think we'll get much. 
unless we put it manually. But yeah, we can figure that out at some point. That's sort of our stream stuff. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss yep. a video. Just one check thing out Gaming say. Isle as well. Uh, life will find a way. It will. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> uh,